Are you ready, engines? Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stage one propulsion is nominal. Discharge is nominal. We're at T plus 45 seconds into flight and we've had a successful liftoff from Pad A at Launch Complex 1. Next up will be Max Q, which is the point when the rocket is under the maximum amount of aerodynamic stress during its ascent. Vehicle is supersonic, approaching max Q. Pass through max Q. There's that call out from the team in mission control, confirming Electron has passed through max Q. Coming up are three events which will occur in close proximity. AOS at first, Station. the nine Rutherford engines will power down on the first stage, commonly known as main engine cutoff, or MECO, before nominal. stage Take one and remaining. stage two separate. Stage then the vacuum optimized engine on stage two nominal. will ignite as the as the vehicle continues onward. Entering stage one burnout detect mode. Miko confirmed. Stage two. Stage two. We've had a clean stage one and stage two separation. Electron is continuing on nominally. You can see the nozzle on that second stage engine beginning to glow as it Better makes its way to orbit. And we're now at T plus three minutes with fairing separation coming up in a few seconds. Fairing jettison. And there goes the fairing. You've just seen it flying away from the vehicle there. The payloads are now exposed, ready for deployment. Stage two propulsion is nominal. As you can see, we're continuing to climb at 9,500 kilometers per hour. An electron is currently at 140 kilometers altitude. Above, and it's above the Earth on its way to orbit. In one of the perks of the job, we've got an incredible view of the Earth below us. We're now four minutes into flight and Electron is continuing to look good. We've got a couple of boxes left to tick off ahead of kick stage separation, those being battery hot swap and second engine cutoff coming up shortly. Electron is soaring to space at a speed of 10,900 kilometers per hour.
stage two propulsion is nominal. Now in about 90 seconds time, Electron will perform its battery hot swap. The pumps on the Rutherford engine are powered by batteries, and once these have been depleted, we swap power over to a new battery, allowing us to save mass on the way to orbit. Guidance is nominal, 200 seconds remaining. Altitude is 190 kilometers, and speed is 3.8 km, kilometers per second. HV battery discharge nominal, approaching hot spot, roughly 30 seconds. Okay, all stations on uh, mission cord, initiating the SAP response plan. So as you can see, Electron is at 13,700 kilometers per hour, is 191 kilometers above the Earth's surface as we're waiting for battery hot swap. At this time, it looks like the signal for our video feed has become too weak to receive. However, we are still receiving good telemetry from Electron. So we're going to switch over to Mission Control and we'll provide updates throughout the rest of the mission.
stations on Mission Control. This is Mission Control in Auckland. It appears we have lost our video feed for today's mission. Without these beautiful views from launch, we're going to end today's webcast here, but stay tuned to social media for our updates. Thanks again for joining us for another Electron mission.